What's up, y'all? I decided I had enough time to um, make another video. And then after this, I'm going to go ahead and um, go to the store and give me something to eat. Why do we do that? Why do we go to the store? <laughs> we're going to the store. We're going to the store to get something to eat so we don't have to buy anything to eat. But girl, this is what I want to do. I want to go get something to eat and then go to the store. <laughs> get there buy something to eat. And then when I get, I can guarantee you what I buy, what I buy at the grocery store, I'm not going to eat tomorrow. But I'm going to try. We got to change our ways up. Girl, that's what's your toxic trait? You know my, you know you, you know what my toxic trait is. My toxic trait is going to the grocery store, buying food, and then not eating the food. Girl, that's my toxic trait. Girl, a mess. I went to the store the other day. I bought salad. I bought lettuce. I bought tomatoes, chicken. Um. You know, croutons. I, I just started liking croutons the other day. I never was a big fan of croutons, but they're okay. I just feel like they're too hard. <laughs> um, but I had bought some croutons, and, you know, I was going to do my salad thing. Honey, I ate one salad, and the rest of that lettuce went bad. <laughs> so I'm going to go back today and buy me some more lettuce. I'm about some more lettuce, and I'm going to get my stuff for my salad, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to eat salads next week, every day for lunch. That's my goal. And then at night, my goal is to eat, like, baked chicken and stuff for dinner and, yeah, and candy yams and stuff. That's my goal. That's my goal. But that's been my goal for a very long time. I told you I wanted to get a personal trainer. Um, because I feel like I'm at the stage now where I just can't do it by myself. And I have to accept that. You know, when I was younger, I think I was a lot, a lot more motivated. But now I, I'm not as motivated as I, as I used to be. And I think I need a little, uh, you know. <laughs> I need somebody to tell me to get up. And girl, I think if I pay my money. Even though I, I don't like a lot of bills. You know, one of my goals in life is not to have a lot of bills. <laughs> okay. I don't want to be that person. And I feel like I used to be that person where it's always, ooh, I got so many bills. You know, you get paid and then all your money just going towards bills. And you either can save only a little bit or nothing at all. I can, I don't want that to be my life. So my goal is to not have a lot of bills. I'm not about to be walking around here screaming every time I get paid. Ooh, girl, all my money went towards bills. Ooh, child, all these bills. Ooh, all these bills. Now, nah, mm -mm, cut. Some gonna have to cut back. <laughs> okay. Because I'm not going. I'm not going down that road no more. But I feel like this is something that is a necessity because health is wealth. Okay. And you don't want to die early because, girl. <laughs> you done ate one too many pork chop sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, some stuff we can prevent. Not everything. Oh, girl. This is my niece calling me. Hold up, y'all. Hello? Hi. Hi. I was just asking after you leave from the place that you go from, could. Like, could you buy me some Domino's pizza? Girl, yeah, what? Yeah, girl. What kind of Domino's pizza song? Pepperoni. You gonna pay me back? Eh? You got some money? Yes. Just one. Okay. Okay. See you later. <laughs> See you later. Love you. <laughs> Love you. What but kind of... What did you just... don't have to get a drink. I don't have to get a drink? Yeah. Give me a drink. Who is that, Tatum? Yes, me. Yeah. Okay, so one pepperoni pizza? No, pepperoni and cheese. Have pepperoni, have cheese. 
Okay. Because Tatum doesn't like pepperoni. Who eats cheese pizza? Tatum. She's not going to eat a half, half of the pizza is cheese. She's not going to eat all that pizza. Is she? She likes cheese so much. Okay. All right, is that it? Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Goodbye. See you later. See you later. Girl, that was my niece. That was slow. All right. Girl, you know when they call, girl, I got to answer the phone, honey. Y'all don't be wanting nothing half of the time. Girl, most of nothing. They don't want none of the time. <laughs> they don't be wanting nothing none of the time, okay? Anyways. Um talking about uh anyways because she won't talk about nothing child be funny all right y'all what were we talking about oh yeah this is getting to the mess all right so new texas law requires drunk drivers to pay child support if they kill a parent parent or guardian so a new law named bentley's law went into effect on went into effect in texas on friday the law is named after a young boy who lost his parents to a drunk driver in Missouri and requires drunk drivers who, con who are convicted of intoxication, manslaughter, to pay child support if they kill a child's parent or guardian. Um, in the state of Texas, intoxication, manslaughter, a secondary felony, uh, is occurs, uh, occurs when a person operates a motor vehicle in a public space, an aircraft, a watercraft, an amusement ride, or an uh, symbols. Um, an amusement ride while being intoxicated with a blood alcohol content greater than or equal to Z to 0.08 percent. Um, those convicted of intoxication manslaughter must make child support payments until the child is 18 or until the child graduates from high school. Whichever is later, the, star, the law states, if someone is unable to pay the restitution because they're in uh, incarcerated, they're expected to make payments no later than the first anniversary of the date of their release. Girl, honey, you know, I, I'm I'm with I'm not mad at the law. You know, some of y'all out there complaining about paying one hundred and fifty dollars a month in child support. Just imagine if you if you knocked off Kim and Kanye. You know, Kanye over there paying two hundred thousand dollars in child support. So y'all might want to be careful about my girl. We too old, girl. We got it's too many options for us nowadays. One, you should know when you need to stop drinking. Okay, that's one. You know, at our big old ages, you know if two drinks is your limit. You know how you get when you drink one drink. You know how you get when you get drink two drinks. Oh, girl, listen, y'all, listen. Oh, y'all can hear him. Let me see if I, let me move this microphone back here. See the legs here? Were they cutting up on this Sunday Sunday? Y'all hear him? Did y'all did y'all y'all hear him? Did y'all hear the legs being turned? They go. I bet they gonna fight when they get home. No, you know, sure. You know how to. Girl, can we have some kitchen table talk? Shout out, shout out, shout out to lesbians and the homosexuals. Girl, y'all know how y'all like to fight. <laughs> Girl, it's not funny. It's not funny. Y'all know how y'all like to fight, honey. Y'all will fight, honey. Y'all will fight. Turn up the house and then go back out for Sunday fun day. Yes, ma'am. Y'all hear them fussing and fighting. You hear how Miss Thing was cussing out Miss Thing? Y'all 
It's too much going on. Y'all need to go. There's some black people. There's some black dudes in front of me on some little mopeds. Wait till they pass by. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on, honey. Anyway, it's like I was saying, girl, before the lesbians came and started, girl, I bet you about to turn up. I bet you when they get in that car, they're going to turn that car up. <laughs> girl, they're going to turn that car up. Okay? Um. Anyways, so, you know, I'm down for I'm down with the law because at this point in 2023, almost 2024, honey, girl, if you don't know, you will know. You know, I think that those of us who have, um, those of us who are drinkers have probably gotten behind the wheel of a car before when we didn't have no business to. But in 2023, going on 2024, like I said, girl, it's no excuse. Girl, at this point, girl, you know how much you can handle. You know if your limit is one, two, three, four, five drinks. You know, you know if you a light drinker, a heavy drinker. You know, girl, I can make it home and still have three drinks. You know, I can make it home and I only have one drink. You know, and if you don't know, girl, you are gonna find out when your ass is behind bars, okay? Or when your ass is paying girl two hundred thousand dollars in child support. Because fuck around and hit one of these rich kids, and ain't mama and daddy gone, honey? You really gonna be up a shit creek. Like I said, girl, some of y'all already busted and custard about paying a hundred dollars a month. Y'all act like y'all know what these rich uh, celebrities be going through when they have to pay these high amounts in child support, girl. Fuck around and find out. Hey, okay? So, baby, call you an Uber. Call you a Lyft. Call you a taxi. Call your best friend. Or either, girl, just walk home if you're close by the boss. See, that's one thing about, that's one thing good about living where I live, honey. I could just pretty much walk everywhere. So... You know, but I also know at my big ass age what I can drink and girl, I know when it's time. I know when it's time to stop. You know, when I was younger, honey, I didn't know how to stop. I didn't know when to stop. I would just drink, 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 drink. Anyway, shout out to Bentley's Law. All right, y'all. Um... Tommy Lee shows her drug test results. Tommy Lee has finally gotten the results from her recent drug test following those cocaine accusations. So Tommy say that girl, she don't do that stuff. Girl, quiet as a skip, no tea, no shade. Girl, I I I, I kind of wish they would have came back positive, cause then at least I could at least I could pinpoint on why you be acting a, a goddamn fool. Now I just know you act a fool because you just a goddamn fool. At least, at least, at least, if we knew you was out there doing that sugar book, honey, well, at least I could say, okay, girl, she act like that because, girl, she a look, you know, she's a little high, she's a little high, girl, she's high in the sky, girl, she act like that because she a little high, girl, yes, when I think about your goodness, it makes me want to stone. Makes me clap my hands, makes me want to dance and so Hey, hey, come on. Mm -mm. I got the legacy, I got the victory and so Okay, I can see if she was a little high. Girl, you just act a fool because you're just a fool. I don't like that. <laughs> I wish you just. Girl, who is this thing? Oh, girl. Girl, the niggas is out. Girl, you see them lesbians up there? There they go. Oh, girl, this thing is fine. I be telling y'all, I can spot the fine man. Where he walking? Where he at? My brother, can't you see? Girl, where did he go? Where he go? Oh, girl, he got in that car. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, so shout out to Tommy. Tommy said she don't use that shit. <laughs> well, some of us wish you would have said you used it. Um, anyways. Oh, listen to this girl. YSL defendant acting like he's crazy in court so he can plead insanity. Honey, like I said, now you scared and want to act crazy. 
You wasn't doing good when your ass, girl. <laughs> girl, when you was out there in the streets cause, causing chaos and confusion and havoc in the community, you wasn't acting crazy then. But now since they about to, girl, give you that hammer. Girl, not, girl, look at the lesbians. There they go. There they go. Now they quiet. Look at them. A mess. I know y'all ought to be embarrassed. They probably not. I ain't gonna say and act like I ain't ever cut up like that. Girl, one time I cut up like that, girl. I was the girl, girl, this guy, my ex. Girl, we used to, girl, never, 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 never eat where you shit. What did I say? Never sit where you shit. Girl, that was called, honey. Girl, we got into a downtown, girl, in between our break. I mean, on lunch break. I know I was cutting up and wearing his ass out right there in front of McDonald's. You know that McDonald's that used to be downtown? Downtown Houston? Honey, I was cutting up and acting a fool. Just ghetto fish. Girl, just ghetto. Girl, that man had worked my nerves so goddamn bad that day. Oh, way! Girl. I still remember it was me, him, and then there was another friend of ours. She was a girl. Um... And girl, she was just there. Cause she was like, "Baby, you talk to that man so crazy." He used to play games with me though. You know, I was I was young. I was in my twenties, and he was like ten. He got to be at least he got to be fifty now. He got to be, or either he forty now, about to be fifty. But I know he was like ten years older than me. I was like in my yacht. Like, I was like, I don't even think I was like mid 20s. Look, he was playing games with me. I used to catch that shit. But he would act like I would I'd act like, girl, the shit he was doing, he wasn't doing. Or he would tell me stuff like, like he would like still be in communication with his ex and on the phone arguing with his ex <laughs> girl. while I'm sitting over there at his house. Watching TV, I wasn't paying attention because I'm like, girl, I, girl, I, I didn't worry about who you was on the phone with. But then you would tell me, and I think he would tell me to purposely get me riled up. Ways, girl, hey, child, that was the days, honey. Don't ever fuck with nobody who you work with, girl. <laughs> it ain't gonna end good. <laughs> it ended all right. It didn't. End. It, it just we just it, we yeah. It ended all right. We still, I mean, we still saw each other because we worked together. Anyways, child. Yeah. But yeah, YSL Defendant. What's his name? Uh, YSL Polos. Uh, he, so his name is Polo. Who is this? YSL Polos. He acting crazy in court. Cutting up and acting a fool. Now you scared. See, this is what happens, girl. I get it. Everybody is everybody is not handed the same cards in life. Some people have to just get it how they live. Some people, it, it you know, it's not they. Some people are not. We're all not dealt the same cards, right? Because at some point you have to take some accountability for your own actions. And my and my and, 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 and sir, you it was a choice for you to still be a part of this organization, this game, and do the things that you have been accused of doing. Let's read what what they what they uh, what they have accused the YSL members of doing. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. Let me try to find a quick. And so this is a quick, quick. This is according to Rolling Stone. What charges are Young Buck and YSL members facing? The 65 indictment charges, 28 people with crimes such as murder, attempted murder, armed robbery, aggravated assault with a deadly we weapon, theft, Drug dealing, girl, carjacking, racketeering, and witness intimidation. 
And now you want to your, and now you want to be in court, girl. I'm talking about, <laughs> take your slow ass to jail, girl. It's ten years, girl. If you keep on acting silly in my courtroom, nigga, I'm gonna give your ass twenty. Cause when you was when you was a part of this shit right here, when y'all was doing all this shit, murder, attempted murder, armed robbery, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, theft, drug dealing, carjacking, racketeering, and witness intimidation, you wasn't acting retarded then. Girl, the indictment claims that YSL isn't just a record label, record label named Young Sonar Life, but a gang called Young Slim Life that's been operating since 2012 and has affiliation with the National Blood Bloods Gang, with some members also claiming the Blood Sepset Gang sex murder, sex... Mm -mm, girl, that's too good. Girl, I ain't bringing none of them other people in that girl. <laughs> girl, I don't have nothing to do with the Bloods or the Crips or no shit like that. Girl, I don't know. Girl, I'm just trying to be a rich black woman and live my rich black woman life. Girl, give me a look. Uh, give me a look. Girl, one bedroom condo in the sky. Girl, and mind my rich black woman business. That's it. That's all I want to do. God, I don't have nothing. I don't have time for nothing. I don't have nothing to do with me. <laughs> Not a damn thing. Okay. Anyways, y'all, that's all I want to go. I'm about to go up here and um, give me something to eat. I'm hungry and I need to drink some water. I haven't drank no water all day. That's my problem too. All right, y'all have a good Sunday fun day. Um, for the lesbians out there, stop fighting. <laughs> girl, for the gays out there, stop fighting. And for the straights out there, stop fighting. But girl, just stop fighting, honey. And don't be arguing in public, honey, because it's embarrassing. I've done it before, and you'd be embarrassed afterwards. <sighs> and girl, you never know who recording, honey. So, <laughs> okay? Here you go, messy bitch. Because there's always a messy bitch in the parking lot making a video that'll record that y'all arguing, fussing, and fighting. Okay? Anyways, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.